This is RD Sharma Solution Class 12 Chapter 18 Maxima and Minima. We are taking the multiple choice questions that is MCQ. The maximum value of x to the power 1 by x x greater than 0 is. Now these are four options for us and we have to find out which one is the correct answer. Now if you are following me then you have realized that in very small answer question that is VSAQ this question was already been taken up and solved but for those who are not following who have come here for the first time let's uh, go about it fx is equal to x raised 1 by x now we need to differentiate it but the possibility is only when we take the log on both the sides so we'll take the log on both the sides log fx that is log on both sides means log fx and this is equal to log of x raised 1 by x So this one by x will come in front one by x log x and then we are going to differentiate it. So let's differentiate it now and we are differentiating it with respect to x. It's one by f x. Differentiation of f x is f dash x and this one by x log x. So one this will follow the product rule. That means take one differentiate other then plus take another one and then keep the first one like that only. So this is how it goes about. So ultimately you will get this fx in the denominator will go up on the right and this uh, you can write it as 1 minus log x by x square and this fx is already the initial function which is x raised 1 by x. So this is equal to x raised 1 by x and here inside we have 1 by x square minus log x by x square you can write it as 1 minus log x by x square. Now since x is greater than 0 it is already been given in the question and the very small answer question it was not given that time so we proved it otherwise now here it's clearly given x is greater than 0 so the second step here uh, the formulation of maxima minima requires the equation of or equating the differentiation with 0 so we are going to equate it to 0 so we essentially have 1 minus log x divided by x square multiplied by x raised on by x when you equate it to 0 x square is definitely going to be 0 if we only multiply it cross on the right hand side but we'll take the another logic that x is already greater than 0 so x raised on by x and x square cannot be 0 at all only log x can 1 minus log x can be 0 so log x will be 1 and you know log base ab equals to c means a raised power c is b so here log the base is e so e raised 1 is equal to x so x is equal to e This is the uh, critical point or extreme point for which the maximum minimum you will get. Now you need to second thing is uh, or third thing probably is the double differentiation. Now what I am suggesting here is that this is a multiple choice question. Even if you have to, you don't have to show it uh, to the examiner. You just have to choose the option. So the double differentiation is not mandatory. Doing it here means showing it to the examiner because you will have only four options. You have to choose one of them. But in in the long type questions or where you have to to write the things, there you need the double differentiation to be shown to be presented. I am just showing that you have to double differentiate what we have already differentiated, and the double differentiation value when x is equal to e has to be replaced. When you have a double dash e, that is. Just assume that I have double double differentiated it and place e in place of x, so we got this value. Now this value e is already known to us; it's a constant value. So all this apart from negative will give you a constant positive value. This negative is indicating that you are get going to get a negative value. That means you are going to get a maximum value out here. So x equals to e is the point of local minima or maxima. and the value of local minima and maxima is fe that is you have to go back to the original equation which is x raised 1 by x x to the power 1 by x so just put e here so e raised 1 by e is the maximum value which which is which is the first option in this question so this is how you are going to solve it or refer it if you are doing it by yourself and again i am saying that mcq are questions which take less time but double differentiation will take a lot of time here please understand it will take 2 to 4 minutes just to solve the double differentiation or do the double differentiation anyways first is the answer if ax plus b by x is greater than or equal to c for all positive x where a and b is greater than 0 then 
Now this a and b greater than zero. What does it mean? This x, a, b, they are given for a for a purpose. They are not just given to be given. You will see what importance this greater than zero of x, a, b will will be proved. We have the original equation which is a x plus b by x. First thing to find out the minimum or maximum or uh, this kind of question is the differentiation. So we'll differentiate it. Differentiate means you know dividing the expression into smaller parts. So a minus b by x square. This is uh, to be equated to zero. When we equate it to zero, a equals to b by x square. Actually, you're getting x square equals to b by a. X is equal to plus minus under root b by a. Remember, whenever you have x square, it has to be plus minus on the other side. Now, when you see this one, then comes the all positive x where a and b is greater than zero. That means you cannot take negative here. It's clearly given in the question is x will always be positive. When you have x as positive, why why you're going to take the negative? No, x is equal to under root b by a plus. This is done. Now the next thing is we have f double dash x. That is the double differentiate. When we double differentiate it, what are you going to get? See, double differentiation is quite evident. It's your responsibility also because differentiation we have already done. So these questions are not about differentiation. These questions are all about the logic which has to be uh, put in here in order to get the maximum minimum value. So this is the double differentiation value f double dash x. Now just keep this x as under root b by a. When you have this x as under root b by a, now 2b by under root b by a to the power 3. You can write it as b by a to the power half to the power 3. So this half power half multiplied by 3 is 3 by 2. Now this is greater than 0 so we will get a minima. And minima see first thing when it is greater than 0, when it is minima, then the, the original condition will come from here only. In the previous question, I told you that you don't have to show the double differentiation to the examiner because these are the multiple choice questions. But I am going to change my statement here. Double differentiation is the mandatory thing in this question. Why? Because this double differentiation is going to give all the condition which are given in the, in the options here. That is after double differentiation we are saying 2b by under root b by a under root b by a whole cube is greater than 0. This will give you the, the actual equation which are, which are given in the option. So ax plus b by x is greater than equal to c. This is already given. Okay. Now I am ax plus b by x is greater than equal to c. x is already been known to us which is under root b by a. So in the original equation put this under root b by a in here. Again. In the original equation, put x equals to under root b by a. a into under root b by a by b by under root b by a. And this is greater than or equal to c. From here, you will you'll get a condition which are given in this option. There are different options being provided here. Now, when you resolve this, then you are going to get the option, one of the options. Please remember, just get rid of the denominator under root. So, you have to multiply the first term with under root a under root a the second term which is b by under root a b by a multiply it by under root b under root b so multiply it by under root b under root b denominator will be b b cancels here under root a under root a a a with numerator will get cancelled so we have under root b here under root a b here under root a b under root a b so it will be twice under root a b it is greater than equal to c now you can square both sides will be 4 a b e greater than equal to c square so it will be a b greater than equal to c square by 4. Now you see the second option. This is exactly similar to the second option. So what is your answer? What, are, what is the option you are going to choose or tick or select is the option number 2 which is c square by 4 is, is less than equal to a b or you can call it as a b greater than equal to c by c square by 4. That is your final answer. So here this these, this is a kind of different question we have attempted. We have never attempted a question like this. So this may be very important. Some questions which are not being asked in previous uh, question hires, that is important. So what we have discussed here, all are being presented here for the reference, for the solution. The minimum value of x by log x is, again, in very small answer question and in the previous exercises from 18.1 to 18.5 we have already covered this question but those who have not followed it or those who have come here for the first time just let us start with the scratch so fx is x by log x 
then this f dash x is equal to what when you differentiate it what are you going to get now differentiation is of the form p by q this p by p form so x by log x is so log x minus 1 by log x whole square i've already differentiated it now now base is e will we are going to use this e just now f dash x is equal to 0 when we when we equate it to 0 what are you going to get log x cannot be 0 so only your log x minus 1 cannot can be 0 so the numerator we have to equate it to 0 actually we have to equate everything to 0 but logically log x minus 1 is equal to 0 so log x equal to 0 e raised power 1 equal to uh, x x is equal to e is the critical point or the extreme point now in order to find out the minimum and maximum what do we do see this the this is the thing you can find out the double dash or the double differentiation when you double differentiate it because x is equal to e you have to double differentiate it now 1 by e will come i am not going to uh, double differentiate it i would request you to kindly perform the double differentiation and this 1 by e which is greater than 0 will will uh, put a stamp on minimum value that that this function is going to give you minimum value and to find out the minimum value we will turn ourselves to the original equation which is x by log x and in place of x we will replace it by e so it is log by log e base e e the denominator will be 1 the numerator will be e so this is e so this is the discussion here and the reference you can take in order to solve it by yourself the option you know already it's option number one now if you are following it this question already being taken up but don't worry about this we are going to solve it from the beginning from the first step x is equal to 1 is a point of maximum x equals to minus 1 is a point of minimum maximum value greater than minimum value or or otherwise now what you will see here is that this is a different kind of question we have not attempted as far as mcqs are concerned the first thing first is always differentiation x plus 1 by x has to be differentiated and equated to 0 in order to get the critical points or the extreme point so f dash x is 1 minus x square and when you equate it to 0 the local minima and the local maxima can only be achieved when you equate this differentiated value equals to 0 so 1 minus 1 by x square is equal to 0 this is 1 by 1 equals to 1 by x square x square is equal to 1 x will be equal to plus minus 1 now in this question it is not being specified whether x is positive or negative so we have to take both the values x equals to plus 1 as well as x equals to negative 1 next thing will be double differentiation of 1 minus 1 by x square first derivative is already being found out my humble submission to you is to differentiate it again i have already differentiated it it is 2 by x cube i just have to put these two values which is f negative 1 and f1 let me reiterate plus 1 and minus 1 have to be checked separately f negative 1 is 2 by negative 1 whole cube f1 is 2 by 1 whole cube this is going to give you a negative 2 this is going to give you plus 2 negative means maximum positive means minimum negative means maximum positive means maximum so you have minimum maximum here okay so local minima and local maxima will only be achieved through this and what are the kind of result this double differentiation has given us but whether x equals to 1 is a point of maximum we'll just check it but what is the maximum value it is negative 2 maximum value is negative 2 what is the minimum value minimum value is plus 2 so maximum value is actually less than plus 2 means you can say that maximum value is less than minimum value from here the minus 2 is actually the negative value which is giving you maximum so maximum value is actually less than a minimum value see so the third option is the correct option x equals to 1 gives you maximum no it is giving us minimum value x equals to minus 1 is a point of minimum no it is going to give you the maximum value so the first second and third option doesn't show any say correspondence with this question only the third one is equated third one is the true one so whatever we have discussed is being presented here and this one you have to do this is a as i said a different kind of question we have never seen a question like this in whole chapter and uh, third option is the correct answer now this is fx equals to we have an expression here x cube plus 3x square minus 9x plus 2 then fx has now all these options will definitely come by itself you don't have to worry about it because if you know the logic if you know the process 
other things are these results are just the by products m dash x is what differentiation of this expression it's 3x square i am di directly doing the differentiation this is the differentiated value 6x minus 9 now local minima or local maxima for that you have to equate f dash x equals to 0 this you can call it as a second step so 3x square plus 6x minus 9 equals to 0 and you can take 3 common or divide everything by 3 left hand side or right hand side so x square plus 2x minus 3 equals to 0 now when you take the factor it's quite obvious this is this is a very very simple quadratic equation so x plus 3 and x minus 1 will come and this is not uh, an exercise this is this this is, you will do on a click of a button I guess, I guess so you have x equals to 1 and x equals to negative 3 these are the points of criticality or these are the extreme points so third one is f double dash x f double dash x is double differentiation it will be 6x plus 6 we need to check for minimum and maximum not the value but the possibility of minimum and maximum at these a1 and negative 3 when you put 1 6 into 1 plus 6 is 12 when you place negative 3 is it's uh, 6 into negative 3 plus 6 is negative 12 12 is greater than 0 it is minimum negative 3 it's minus 12 it's maximum minimum maximum you got at what value now what is the correct option here at x equals to 1 you are going to get maximum are you going to get it no it's minimum at x equals to 1 you are going to get minimum yes the second option is the correct option and are you going to solve for the maximum or minimum value that is at x equals to 1 you are going to place the, that value in the original equation no so just the double differentiation is going to give you this value so this double differentiation as i said you don't have to worry about the final value the minimum value of fx is equal to this one and we'll just compare it because it's just uh, similar to the previous question except that it is not it will not be a quadratic equation it will be a cubic equation after differentiation so i'm differentiating it now f dash x is 4x cube minus 2x minus 2 so f dash x is equal to this one and since it is x cube these there will be certain factors being formed and these factor will be only computed when you uh, place x equals to 1 this equation will become 0 so x minus 1 is definitely one of the factor and now divide this 4x cube minus 2x minus 2 divided by x minus 1 so you have to divide this uh, original or the differentiated equation by x minus 1 so when you do it you are going to get 4x square plus 4x plus 2 if you go back to your 7th 8th standard you will know how to differentiate divide it if you are not able to do it just go back and just revisit but the final thing i have already expressed here and showed showed it to you next thing is f f dash x equals to 0 4 x square plus 4 x plus 2 will never come to be 0 it will never whatever value you put negative 1 1 plus 1 whichever but x minus 1 equals to 0 will give you x equals to 1 when you have this x equals to 1 then double differentiation double differentiation is 12 x square minus 2 now put this x equals to 1 in this equation you will get 12 minus 2 which is going to be 10 10 is a positive value or or you are going to get minimum here so x equals to 1 will indicate or will give you a minimum value so the question is also saying about minimum value what will be the value put x equals to 1 in the original equation so when you put 1 here in the original equation you're going to get 4 and that 4 is your final answer so this is the reference for you you can just follow this and it will be easier for you to to refer to it this we are going to see in the next discussion till then thank you so much and take care of yourself